Everybody, let's welcome Katrina to the Mari Show. Now, Katrina was once in such a toxic relationship, she had to check herself into a domestic violence shelter. So as you can imagine, after that experience, it would cause anybody to shy away from trusting or falling in love again. But then came Deontay, who swept Katrina off her feet, treated her like a queen. And today, after finding graphic sexual text messages to three different women, <laughs> Katrina now fears that she is once again involved with a man who will break her heart. <laughs> you had given up on love, and then here comes your man. He had a personality that was so loving and giving. He was ready to, he was basically my yes man. He gave me whatever I asked for. We didn't have much, but he was always there. He would do for me, he would do for my daughter. And because of that, our relationship, our relationship kind of moved really fast. Um, he moved in really fast and so it, it and turned into- And you all had a child together too, we right? We did, yes. You had your daughter and you, the baby that he gave you. He did. Right, okay. So, and, and you got married. We did, yes. I mean, I saw that, I, I saw that expression, you know, you love this guy. I do. But what happened this past June? At one point, I had went through his phone because he had left his phone with me. I went through it and I found some text messages from three different women. Three different Two women. From <laughs> What did this text message say to, to this woman from Deontay? He said, you still, you still at the mall? She replied, yeah, I'll come see you before I leave. What time, what time do you get off? He right. said, I get, I'll get out by 9.30 p.m. Right. She said, okay, I'm here. Okay. All right. So then you showed Deontay. He said that it was nothing, that she was buying shoes. Now we got the second message. Here we go. He What's asked, up? You free tonight? Uh oh. She said, "Why?" He said, "I really want to do some nasty things." Oh. Okay. Okay. This was the this was the other one. He said, "Do you want to hang out?" She said, "LOL, maybe." He said, "What do I have to do to turn that maybe into a yes?" She replied, "Money." Money. You yeah. were willing to pay for it? Right, I see. And what did His he, how reply did he... was, he was bored. He wasn't going to pay for it. It was just for fun. Right. Someone to talk to. Then you find a voicemail in the phone, right? It was somebody calling him back from a sex line that he called. And then you have this idea, you find something, so you catfished him. I did. During my catfish, I pretended, I, when I, going through his phone, I went through his contacts and I picked someone familiar that I had heard her name, someone we had discussed before because she had his Netflix account. And so I pretended to be her, I texted him and I told him that I got a new number and that I wanted to see him. Yeah. And I even used his nickname and everything so that he would, you know, succumb to it. Right. And at first he did, it, I mean he did, but then he showed it to me. He was like, everything's all good, like I, oh, didn't, really? I didn't do anything. Oh. She said this, she said that. So at which point I was like, okay. But then after I kept messaging, he started to delete it. Uh, he wasn't saying anything. He wasn't saying anything, but right. he was deleting it. And then at one point he came in and he told me, I'm gonna go do some Uber. So then he's texting this girl. He's like, so where are you? Oh, Can I, because uh, you're still on this. address, you're all a, this stuff. You're still on this girl's line. Correct. You think he's gonna pass his test? In my mind, no. Well, he's backstage. By the way, he's extremely hurt by your accusations. And this is what he had to say, watch. When I first met Katrina, she was done with me. I told her I'd be nothing like her exes. But now, I'm paying for their mistakes. Let me make one thing clear. I have never cheated on my wife. I love the family we have together, and I would never do anything to jeopardize that. When we first started dating, I can admit, I did talk to other women online. But I wasn't sure where our relationship was going at that point. 
Once I knew it was for real, all that stopped. I'm never home, because I'm constantly working, trying to provide for my family. Why can't Katrina understand I'm a hardworking man? I married Katrina, and I only plan on getting married once. And when I finally prove my innocence, I just want to get appreciated for the good man that I am. We'll find out how good he is. Here's Deontay. I am. Okay. Okay. So You say working. you're good for her. I am. You brought her out of a terrible situation, right? I did. She was not going to trust any guy. That's what she told me. But you changed it, right? You're not going to destroy it again, are you? No. Not That's at why all. we're here. What you're saying, what you've told my producers is, Deontay, that, that uh, her past is putting up a big roadblock for you. The people she dealt with in the past. The but what does thing. the people in the past have to do with you talking to other people? Yeah. You, you, knew, you knew you were in a relationship. Well, your past. You knew you were in a relationship. Well, your you past, had no business talking to someone else. Your past else. is because. Well, your past is stopping you from trusting me. But it didn't stop you from messaging other women? You were in the beginning of a relationship. You said it yourself you in the were beginning of a relationship. With me. It you was still the beginning of the relationship. You were living so it was with in me. the first few months. Is yes. that what you're talking about? It was about? the first few months so of you, the relationship. So you had not committed yourself wholly to her. Is that what you're saying? Honestly, yes, because I didn't know where it was going to go. I didn't know how far this was going to take we it. We were living together. When I found those messages, you cried. Oh. Yeah. When I found those messages, you begged me to stay with you. How didn't you know? Because I asked you to stay with me. But why? If it wasn't that serious, if you wanted to talk to other people and it wasn't that serious. You felt the same way, though. I felt the same way. You felt the same way, because you honestly told me you didn't know if we were going to be together still. So what you're saying is, when I show all of these messages in the beginning of your relationship, you said that you weren't fully committed and that you were just trying to what? Find company? I wasn't even trying to find company. Half the time, it was either I was bored. Right. Didn't so, know. so, so, how about, how about, how about a year into our relationship when I was pregnant with our daughter and you were calling that line? Whoa. Or Ooh, three dumb. months before we got married, you took my car to meet some girl in, in, in my car. Whoa. That wasn't, that wasn't even the girl, it was me. So, 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 after you so if your excuse is that you were doing these things because we weren't serious, if you were doing these things because we weren't serious, why'd you do it? After we had a daughter, yeah. we, we, we were living together, had a child, you expressed your love, you've cried how, however many times. And you got married. And we got married, exactly. And then you got married after that. Guess what, I'm gonna check the results. Of that. <laughs> Deontay, during your relationship with Katrina, have you ever slept with any of the women she's caught you messaging with? You said no, the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. That's one. That's one. That's one. One. During your relationship with Katrina, have you ever lied about where you were because you were sleeping with another woman? You said no. The lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. Yeah. During your relationship with Katrina, have you ever slept with a woman that you met on a sex chat line? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Okay, there's still more. There's still more. There's still more. There's still more. During your relationship with Katrina, have you ever slept with any of the friends you grabbed drinks with? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. Finally, Deontay, during your relationship with Katrina, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? Does that say everything about the entire time you all been together? Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. With any other woman, mm -hmm. right? You said no, the lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> The 
pick the right guy. All right, tell you. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's time to tell the truth. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more lie detector results. And click here for more videos.